around today I'm going to show you how to make a glass bottle in Autodesk Maya. So go ahead and hit spacebar and uh, go to the side view and uh, make a polygon cylinder and uh, hit R to scale it up. Um, hit W to pull it up a little bit and um, we need to get, uh, cut some faces, so go edit mesh cut faces tool and uh, sh sh hold shift and drag and cut some faces like so. Okay now uh, go to vertices mode and uh, select this top vertices and uh, let me just close this uh, and hit R to scale them down a little bit. Uh, Select this top vertices and uh, pull them up a little bit. Okay, we need to cut some f some more faces. So go to object mode and go edit mesh cut faces tool and shift select drag. Oops, we need to select our object first. So shift select sh shift drag and cut two more faces. Now go to perspective view and uh, um, press 5 to smooth shade it all. Now uh, go to face mode and um, select this top faces over here. Okay, we need to extrude it, so uh, go edit mesh, extrude, and uh, extrude them in the Z direction. We also need to scale it down, so hit this um, square and uh, scale it down from the middle. Okay, uh, we need to get to... We need to delete this top faces, so shift select them all, and hit delete. Now we need to go to edge mode and uh, select these edges over here and uh, shift select these bottom ones as well and go to edit mesh and bevel them. Okay, now we need to change the, some properties so go to channel box under poly bevel one in offset select offset and uh, middle mouse drag get a desired number. Okay, that looks good. Uh, we need to do the same with, with this. So select them and uh, hit G to do the same and select offset again and uh, middle mouse drag to get a desired number. So that looks good. Okay, um, we need to make the bottom of the bottle a little smaller. So go to vertices mode and select these vertices. Hit R to scale it down a little bit. And uh, go to object mode again. Okay, um, go to the perspective. Select your object. We need to extrude the whole object. So extrude and uh, extrude, extrude in Z direction inside the bottle like so okay now we need to s go to object mode again select our object and go to normals and uh, reverse okay we need to smooth it so go mesh smooth and that looks pretty good Okay, we need to apply some shadow, so go window rendering editor and hypershade. In hypershade come down to until you see MIM material and click on it. We need to change some properties for MIM material, so go to the attribute editor and uh, in presets, get to glass thick replace. 
and we need to change the index of ref reflection refraction to at least four. We will go with five. Okay. Now, middle mouse drag on material and drop it on the bottle. Now close the hypershade. Okay, uh, we need to make a room. So go to polygon, make a polygon, um, polygon cube, and uh, scale it up to uh, a good size. Okay, now we need to drag our bottle to the corner a little bit, like so. We need to pull our room a little bit up. That's too much. Hit Z to undo. Okay, that, that looks good. Okay, we need to pull our bottle a little bit more to the corner. Okay, now go create lights and uh, create a spotlight. Okay, now drag it up a little bit and uh, hit T to get the handles. And uh, drag the handles on the bottle basically the spotlight is pointing at the bottle okay pull the spotlight a little bit up hit 7 to see the lights um, at the moment it's not showing properly so select your box and uh, go to the channel box and under polycube 1 select subdivision with height and depth and middle mouse drag until you get a good number a good division we will go with 14 okay close the channel box okay now Select your spotlight and go to attribute editor and uh, under DK change it to quadratic and under intensity change it to something like a thousand maybe 500 we'll go a thousand for the moment now come down to drop off and change it to Two. We have to increase the cone angle to 134, maybe. Tone down the intensity a little bit, 500. Okay, we need to create another light. So you create lights, a point light. Now hit T to get rid of the handles and uh, bring the bring the point light. <laughs> basically behind the bottle okay that looks good Again, um, the lights is very hard to get it right. Um, it might be different for you. Some settings you have to f uh, fiddle around, change the intensity and so on. Um, it could be different for you depending on the size of the bottle that you have made. Anyway, go to the render settings. Um, first, we need to make sure mental ray is on. So go window uh, settings preferences, plugin manager, and under plugin manager, uh, make sure Maya to MR 
is loaded. So you go to render settings again, uh, choose mental ray, and um, under common step, deselect enable default light, go to features, uh, select caustics, go to quality and uh, change the preset to preview caustics and uh, make sample to 3 and go to ray tracing and uh, change reflections to around 6 and the refractions at least 4 we will go 5 and uh, that looks good here go to indirect lighting and uh, under caustics change accuracy to 900 gotta make sure we've got everything okay close the render settings now get to your spotlight attribute editor um, come down until you see retrace shadows and select retrace shadows change the shadow rest to around 10 shadow rep de uh, depth to 2 get to go up under global illumination select emit photons and um, select caustic photons to around 2000 20000 close the attribute editor now render okay that looks good we need to make it a little bit bigger so get to render settings again Um, under common tab select 1k square ok close this off and render again ok there you go hopefully you learned something thanks for watching